Hello there. I've come out here to Loudon Hill today to do another test, a return to home test. I've been asked to do this one, and this one's slightly different. I'm going to be going up to the top of Loudon Hill today, and I'm going to set my return to home to the minimum, which I believe is 49.2 feet. And then I'm going to fly Lassie off of the edge and down to just just above above the bottom of the hill there. Then I'm going to hit return to home and see if she ascends to 49.2 feet from the ground and tries to fly into the hill. If she does, I'll stop her, obviously. <laughs> or if she ascends to 49.2 feet above the, the launch point, which is what I think she's going to do. Logically, you would think that's what she, she would do because she's going to gain negative altitude as she goes over the edge. But there's no way to know for sure other than to try it out. So I'm going to hike up that hill now. It's going to take me about an hour to get up there. And I'll see you at the top. So, made it to the top finally. It's a lot harder this time than it was last time for some reason. Uh, and here's a magnificent view. I'm going to be flying Lassie directly down there against this quite strong wind. I'll fly her down to that road. Which is quite some distance below. Not sure exactly how, f how far below it is. So, without further ado, let's get Lassie up in the air.
Well, that's the test over and it's starting to get really windy up here, so I better get down this hill sharpish. But there you go, conclusive proof. I set the return to home height at 15 metres, flew the drone to negative 100 metres, and when I hit the return to home point, she flew up the negative 100 metres plus the additional 15 metres that I had set in the return to home point, so that when she fl was flying back towards me horizontally, she was 15 metres above above the home point, which is exactly what you would expect and what I hoped would happen. So if you like this, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one.